My name is Katie Goldberg. I am founder of Warrior Princess Coach. It's my first division of Peace for Your Soul. I'm a certified life coach, and thank you so much for allowing me to share my thoughts and piece of my journey with you this evening. You know, it's fall. It's my favorite season. It's my favorite season for a couple of reasons. Um, the weather is perfect. Um, I don't like when it's too hot. I don't like when it's too cold. Um, but it is a season of change. You can feel the change. You can see the change. And unlike spring, where it's budding, it, it, it's a different effect to it. It's changing into where it's almost bundling up. It's bundling up and getting ready. And it's, to me, they're both beautiful, spring and fall, but there is such an awesome, extraordinary energy to the kind of bundling up and getting ready to blossom again. It's almost like a defensive layer, an armor, if you will, to getting ready for the cold to come. And I've always really, really enjoyed that. For anyone who is new, and I'm sure there, there are a lot, um, I am really passionate about helping women not use their voice. We all have voices, we know how to use them. I, I wouldn't even be that condescending to say I help women use their voice. I help women excavate their truth so that the words that come out of their mouth are very, very intentional and hold meaning and impact so they can achieve the results and the outcomes that they desire. Specifically in their relationships with you know the interpersonal communication with our partners and in our jobs. How we make money in our security is so important and there's a great deal of emotional charge there. And so I work with women on how to very strong and very assertively, authentically communicate what is important to them and why by showing them what their true value is because that is really just seeing inside of yourself and acknowledging value. And so I'm very passionate about that. I have been for years. And I wanted to take a moment tonight, because it's been a minute since I've shared with you where my journey has taken me. And I want to talk a little bit about the dark night of the soul. And for those of you who aren't familiar with that term, it is a time in life where it goes a little dark because you know it can't be it can't be light and joyous and happy all the time it things do get a little dark but there is a reason for there's a reason for everything but there's a reason it does go a little dark sometimes your being your soul needs a time or a period to discard what it no longer requires for you to grow and heal as an individual. And so it, it kind of unearths whatever isn't serving you anymore, whether it's old defense mechanisms or trauma or just old habits even. It doesn't even have to get so, so deep into that. Just, it could be old habits or procrastinations or anything that does not serve you. And it can go dark for a little bit. And the reason why it goes dark is because there are, that there are layers of us, particularly our ego, really, really has a hard time with this, time, with this period of time because the ego does not like change. And as we go through this change, 
we are growing and we are healing and we are becoming a different version of ourselves. We are kind of reinventing and letting go that piece of us that no longer serves us anymore because that is, that is the definition of true growth. And the reason why it's painful is the, the ego doesn't, the ego is hanging on. So it becomes, it is painful. The ego is making our mind overanalyze everything. And so it becomes difficult. It becomes difficult. And I recently just came out of one of those. And I will tell you, no matter how much training, coaching, mentoring, books you've read, programs you've done, when you hit one of these periods in life, it is difficult. And you need all the help that you can get to successfully work through it. And I know my personal, in my personal journey, I really had to relearn something that I knew, but I needed to relearn something again. And this is what I want to share with you for tonight. You can be a work in progress and a masterpiece simultaneously. And that resonated so strongly with me because as a person who is a healer, who is a light worker, who is a coach, who is super passionate about connecting with people on the most authentic level, there are times in life, and I know there's people out there that can relate, where you are a healer, where you are helping, but you're also reflecting inward and doubting, should I be doing this? Am I okay? Is it okay that I'm doing this? Cause I'm not perfect. It's like that perfectionism creeps in. And the answer is yes. 100% because we are not perfect. We're never going to be perfect, but as long as we keep working, as long as we keep getting up and as long as we keep mastering ourselves, yes, we can and do continue to help each other, continue to be the light for someone else who is in the dark and continue to do whatever our passionate purpose is. And that was my big lesson coming out of my own dark night. I really hope that the last 90 days, that isn't even 90, it's less than 90. I hope the last two and a half months of this year brings tremendous growth and tremendous energy to everyone going into 2020. And I look forward to sharing game plans and strategies on how to master how we assert ourselves and how we really, really assert what our truth is because only in true authenticity are we able to get our desired results, to become successful, to gain more money, to be able to manifest. You have to be in your truth. So it's really important. I am so excited to be back and talking with you. Again, thank you so much for sharing and taking the time. I look forward to connecting with you again soon. Good night.